What's up guys, Ray here. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. It's been two months since the past video. A lot has happened in that time. Firstly, just got some new tattoos. Afterwards, I went to Paris for about a month. Cheese. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Alright, so this is like a wall that you can just leave shit on it. Yeah. I think I got something. Hold up. So, just a quick example. Some guy got a, a, a mass packet? What the fuck? Do you happen to have another water bottle that we can yeah. maybe have? Some guy couldn't find the garbage. It was like, yeah, it's gonna be it. Some girl has her whole like passport photo here, and the drawing looks like the girl on the joint. <laughs> well, there's many, <laughs> there's three. <laughs> Who is she? Like, who the fuck is people just drawing? You know, I'm gonna be a part of it. She leave your ID, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see if it works. Oh, that's icon. MTA. That shit kind of creepy, bro. Hi. I am um, a new. It is this fake. No. Basketball shoes. These remind me of like shoes like my dad used to have when I was a kid. Patrick Ewing's. I don't know, man. It's crazy that we got to the point where like houses are making sneakers like that. So this is kind of like a department store where there's like a bunch of brands. There's like Gucci. These right here. These are crazy. I even like pink, but these right here. Um, so there's like Celine, there's Dior, there's Balenci, Policy, Vuitton. Hello. Hi. How do you feel about this place? It's intense, right? Yeah, it's intense. All right, so. Look at the chair. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's all the plywood and yeah, I think we've seen it, right? That's really dope. So I had the Brooklyn Museum. Yeah, I remember that. Do you even have the matching Matching. Did you actually sit on that? Yeah. It's like... It's very... It's it's actually very... Um, yeah, okay. Because I think it's like multiple layers. So you would and just, this is wood, right? Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, extremities or plywood, and then every little piece would be carved the same. And then you just stack them. 
Not so me. Obviously, you guys know Annalie about her furniture. We're at like a clothing, clothing department store, but she's like interested more into the furniture. Want to show that? So that's a customized jacket with the chain stitch. So he will be dropping these pretty soon. So incredible. And I just love it. I love this. It's like drinking. Drinking. Um, it's milk, it's wine. alcohol, wine. <laughs> it's kind of like the same logo as a card. So it's called I'll send Momo down. Um, yeah, they got Instagram and all that. Definitely check it out. Beautiful shop. So we picked up a French workwear jacket. Nice, beautiful fade. There's a black one here that is so good. Come on, such a beautiful piece. Such a fire jacket. Well, we'll pick the blue one, we'll probably dye it in black. J'aime aussi que vous avez gardé les boîtes, euh, les boîtes Adidas euh, originales. Ouais. Dang. Je craque facilement dès qu'il y a la boîte en général. Je, je, je prends. Celui-ci, celle-ci, c'est un modèle de 82. Même pas jauni, même pas craqué. En parfaite condition. Uh -huh. Magnifique. Okay, Paris pickups, let's talk about them. Yeah, so I visited a couple spots in Paris, vintage, all that good stuff. Let's quickly go over them. Firstly, we have a t-shirt. I'm not sure if this is vintage. The brand is called G-Rags 72. Really nice color. The kind of cotton is like a very mild, uh, kind of see-through type of cotton and the USA imagery. So this is the very first t-shirt. The second one is the US Army with just this nice blend of colors right here. Once again, same brand, G-Rag 72, and that beautiful kind of see-through, very soft cotton. All right, let me back up that camera. So this piece right here is a little bit more sentimental. Love this shirt. Has the whole Tintin print all over uh, the item itself. I don't necessarily think I'm gonna wear it. It's more so just 
probably hanging it up at the studio and it's from the brand Brutes Archives. Kind of like a vintage military shop in Paris. And I know a couple of years back, they did the collaboration with Jound on the Swiss work jackets. Brand right here, they basically upcycled a bunch of old blankets and created their own kind of vacation shirts with various kind of prints. So there's like the Lucky Luke, there's the Tintin and different kind of French comics. Uh, which is such a really neat touch and uh, this one I really really liked it so you have Milu and then you have Tintin on the back and uh, overall just nostalgia on this piece right here so I don't necessarily think once again I'm gonna be wearing this just because it's a little bit out of my kind of style bracket uh, but once again it's gonna go perfectly with the Tintin knit at the office so basically that whole wall is gonna be I guess a Tintin wall uh, but here we go, so boom. All right, so continuing on to our next item. Right here we have some sort of like fanny pack sling bag. I got this from a vintage store and uh, what really caught my eye is just the kind of leather. It has like a patent-y type of crinkled effect to it. It's like semi-shiny, um, so that's really interesting. Love this like long belt that comes with it, so it just kind of hangs here and you know, your classic type of fanny pack. So here we go. Just like a, two big pockets in the front. Such a really nice bag. We actually have Biscoffs inside. Here we go. Cool little bag from Paris. Let's keep it pushing. Okay, so for this pair of jeans, let me kind of just talk a little bit about context. So a bunch of people have been asking me about these. This has to be my favorite pair of denims at the moment. I've been religiously wearing these ever since I got them. And they're a pair of Balenciaga flare jeans. Just the wash, the way it feels, it's like a very soft uh, lived in feel to it. It has the Balenciaga patch on the back. And in terms of details, it's pretty simplistic. It just has a really nice wash little distressing on the back pocket and so on but the beautiful flare at the bottom is what really got me who is texting me right now let's keep going but yes full pair of denim and i've just literally been i want to use the word obsessed because obsessed is kind of it's it's a little it's it's a little intense but i've been really enjoying these pants as of late and i wear these probably like five or six times a week um, so yes, we know that these are amazing. And during my stay in Paris, I was looking for the washed out black variants of it. And yeah, it was such a nightmare looking for these pants. No stores had it and I had to like run around, talk to my rep and all that. And I think the last day before I was coming back to New York, they finally had one pair in stock. And right here they are pretty much the same pants, not too many crazy details whatsoever but once again it just has that beautiful aggressive flare at the bottom and uh, yeah a bunch of distressings and all that and just once again a beautiful beautiful pair of pants a lot of people have been asking me about these so here they are I'm not gonna gatekeep if you guys want to get them I think they still have them on the Balenciaga website uh, so definitely check that out because um, I think these are like the past season they're just called the balenciaga flare denim uh, on the website if anybody's curious okay so we have some footwear as well as some records let's diversify just a little bit and talk about some records that i'm really happy to show uh but yeah just to you know before we do the showcase i had such a great time just going through different record shops chopping it up with the people that were selling the records and you know just hearing their stories the way that it works is kind of like a little market and then there's various sellers that have different record boots and stuff like that and every seller had a different genre a, you know just so much good stuff uh so to me it was like one of my favorite things and highlights of my trip uh which is going over some records so these are a couple that i bought i think i'm missing maybe one or two but for the most part this is pretty much all i got little kim hardcore there's a glare here but and these are all like first edition prints, which is insane. Uh, so yeah, we've got Lil' K, 
him. Good songs, I love this album. Right here, boom. Number two we have Frank Ocean, Nostalgia Ultra. His first project, if I'm not mistaken. This was Annalise's pick. She seen it like right before we left. She kind of saw the record on top and she was like, let's pick it up. And we did that, so in here. Once again, if there's a little bit of a, a glare just because there's so many windows around here. There's the Commodores record, Fire, right here. We were just playing this in the shop, going back and forth. I'll kind of include some clips in this vlog of the record shops and show you guys how everything was, but once again, Commodores. This is the kind of music like my parents would listen to, and I really do enjoy it as well, so it's amazing. So this record, uh, one of the shop owners recommended it to me, and we were listening to it, and incredible it's like a fusion of like r&b jazz rock so so good um so this is basically the best kind of compilation album of lee rittenauer um and there's so many gems all right so for our next record this one right here so so happy to find this mint jams by casiopeia japanese fusion jazz this right here one of my favorite pieces of music ever. I and the seller had the original press of it from 82, which was so cool to see. And once again, he was just, we were kind of geeking out together, talking about music, because he said that a lot of people don't really come for stuff like this. So it was kind of cool to find a like-minded individual at a shop, and we were just chopping it up about just this band in general and the music they do. Strongly recommend it. This is kind of like, if I were to explain this to somebody, I would call it like video game music, like Gran Turismo 3, fire. Beautiful, beautiful album. We have Roy Ayers, Everybody Loves the Sunshine. Classic album from The Goat. And yeah, right here, just so you guys know, Roy Ayers. We got some Sonic Youth right here. Still didn't open it. I have this album on my phone, but I didn't have a chance to open uh, the record. Uh, but here we go. Just everybody knows where this imagery comes from and the music is fire. Jay-Z, man, In My Lifetime, Volume 1. This right here, masterpiece from Jay-Z. Once again, the original pressing of this record. Super happy to have this. So many classics in this album. And yeah, once again, one of my favorite Jay-Z records of all time. Beautiful, beautiful work here. I'm just kind of running through these because we have so much and there's already so much footage in this vlog. Uh, so I don't want to really take you guys' time too, too much. Next record we have is Paid in Full by Rock Kemp and Eric B. Classic hip hop record, Paid in Full. You know what I'm saying, it ain't no joke. All that is in here. This is like a classic. If you're like a hip hop head, um, this is one of like the granddaddy godfathers of hip hop right here. Eric B, Rock Him. Beautiful. Just this cover right here is, is like a masterpiece. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We have, we have the bars, good ass music. This is once again, things that my dad and my mom would listen to. I truly enjoy this kind of groove and this sound is, is, is very refreshing. It's like good party music. Not too much to say about it. Overall, fantastic. All right, this one right here has a really special place in my heart. I don't know if you guys ever watched this show. This is called Le Mysterieux Cité d'Or and Fire Ass Show. This was like an anime back in, I think like the 80s, but they did like reruns when I was a kid. And there's a couple of things that got me like into learning French. And this was one of them. I remember watching this on TV and just being like infatuated with the animation and the music. And it kind of deals with like Mayan um, kind of history and things like that. And they create like some sort of adventure uh, with all that. So this is fantastic. It was really cool to see that they had this record for this old ass anime um, at the shop. So here we go. All right, quickly going over the rest of the things we have. Right here, Public Enemy. You guys know this record. 
If you grew up playing San Andreas, a lot of the songs from this record was in the game. That's how personally I got into this music, just listening to Via San Andreas. Uh, so right here, iconic album. You guys know this cover, come on. Last but not least, Camp Low, This Man. The song Lucini, if you guys don't know about Camp Low, just listen to Lucini. That's one of the greatest hip hop songs ever made in my personal opinion. And I feel like this group is so, so underrated. I don't think people give them their flowers because this album right here was incredible. If you're into hip hop, just the sounds and the way that they play with the words. They have a certain way of rapping, which is very unconventional. Uh, but once you kind of get used to it, 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 it's incredible to listen to. There's like so many good songs uh, on this record. So here we go. All right, guys. So that was all the records. Let's quickly talk about footwear. Picked up two pairs of boots. Let's jump into them. All right. So pair of boots number one are from Camper Lab. Such a good pair. And it has like the pony hair with the cow print. I know it looks very flamboyant, but nowadays I really like just wearing more subdued colors. Um, so having a very loud looking boot like this kind of makes it a little bit more fun. So it has the properties of a Chelsea boot uh, with the side zipper here. And honestly, every time I wear these, I get questions and just people are really interested uh, about these boots just because how crazy and like, you know, playful they look. First item that I've ever bought from Camper Lab really good quality and uh, overall just very very happy with these and yeah i'll just be wearing these a lot actually so here we go okay last but not least for paris pickups right here we have a pair of kenzo steel toe boots so these are from nigo's first collection with kenzo i think they recently dropped as i went to paris i think it was like the first drop and uh, yeah, just your classic kind of combat boot. It has almost like a patent leather, uh, waterproof type of material for the upper. And right here, big toe, a uh, very, very hard steel toe with the Kenzo Paris uh, kind of etching on it, if you can see correctly. And yeah, just overall beautiful pair of boots. And uh, yeah, I love this piece. Obviously, Nigo's first collection. I definitely wanted to pick up something from that. And I've been eyeing these ever since they kind of announced them. Able to pick these up in Paris. Uh, so here we go. All right, so that's about it for the Paris pickups. Hope you guys enjoyed this little portion of the vlog. One more thing that I didn't show in this vid, just because I don't have it in hand. It was a French workwear jacket and moleskin. The plan was to dye it in black, which hasn't been done yet. Whenever that happens, I'll definitely uh, show it in a video. Just kind of showing you guys the before and after. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. So much footage in the vlog, so we'll just jump over to that. Thank you guys. Peace. All right, guess who's here? What's Mr. Old Files himself. What's up, man? Welcome Great to New York. Here. Yeah. And then we have the homie XR. What's up, guys? And we have his lovely girlfriend. Louise. Louise. Was she ever on the vlogs? In yeah, your yeah, vlogs? Yeah, yeah. Probably like eating and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> She's always, you know, we talked about it yesterday, so she was like, uh, you know, when we film, uh, when we eat out, right? So usually I have to take the first bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the rating. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Why is it always you? <laughs> right, right. So I feel like every clip at the restaurant, I see her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then when it's fashion, it's just you. You and, the, you, you and Mads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, welcome to New York. We'll take you around today. A little tour guide. For winter, this is the new one, so, um, so it's actually made out of uh, like military duffel bags. I, bag I can see that, yeah. From the 60s. It's beautiful. Uh, man. European uh, military, Netherlands, um, oh. also uh, like Germany, different. Just different countries. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, that's So that's you can neat. see like the contrast ah. panel here. It's because of the, uh, basically because of, of, it's like two bags. Different bags, two bags yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to make one jack, right? Amazing. And then we try to mix it up so it's not like just randomly. Yeah. It's more like um, it's you know you have like this contrast here. I like how the panels is like one here, but then it, it continues yeah, up here. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, bro. Can't also, wait. Like you can see like the. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, that's sick. The uh, the sweatpants that he released, I have them in gray. 
joggers, flare joggers. You like great lounge pants. It's a little warm right now to wear them, but when it yeah, cools so off. This is the black one. This is Regency uh, this fall as well. Nice. Uh, and then uh, the uh, hybrid pant also. A little bit more like special. Uh, yeah. A little bit more maybe hard to wear, but. Yeah. yeah. I like the paneling on it. Though. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So it's like, it's a vibe kind of thing. Beautiful. Yeah, All right. Uh, oh. So right now, it's, right now it's not that functional. So you can actually take like all the way like this, oh. and then you have, you know, some more like a military vibe to it. That's and, cool. And then boom. Yeah, there's like two two ways of wearing it. Exactly. And then like this, right? That's amazing. Wait, when is this dropping? This is dropping uh, for the fall season. This so is cool, bro. Probably like late September. Okay. So pretty soon, actually. The fit is beautiful. So. It's really, really good. I like that a lot, actually. And then it has like this kind of like subtle wash to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can see like a little bit of wash on the, on the seams and just That's a little bit cool. like faded. Yeah. Uh, but not too much, right? Right, right. It, it looks very luxury. Like, it, 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 it feels like a luxury. Nah, the feel. And it's like not too like no, no, no. dense, but it still has some weight to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, How many samples do you go through? So uh, this is the second sample. So I'm getting one more next week. I'm coming back from New York. But, um, and it, it's, it's basically the same, just like small detail. Like, kind of like small fixes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. A little bit on the fit. Uh, the waist, but it's like it's minor, nice, man. minor details. <laughs> Any other colors coming or just that black? Uh, yeah, this one, and then it's gonna come like a 30, 30 wash one. So it's gonna be like a brown, uh, uh, brown gray. Okay. Stone. And it's like, the, it, it looks like it has been worn for like, I don't know, 20 years. But I love that. It's actually like, like a cap and a big wearing, so it looks super dirty. Ray, Ray, from Ray. The wash. That's so, fire. Yeah. Nah, beautiful, bro. So here, sweating my ass off. Can I say that on camera? Go crazy, bro. Um, so wearing the um, the new uh, mohair. Yes. Coming for the, for the fall collection. Yes. Super fire. Actually, I already love it. Perfect for the upcoming season. Man, Over thank you, bro. Go check on his channel because we had like a lot of talking on, on his channel. Actually, yeah. We, so the whole conversation is going to be... We are showing some things that you haven't even showing on your, yes. on your channel. Yes, so, so check it out. We have the actual studio visit on his channel, so check that out. Check it out. But shit, we here. You, bro. Of course, bro. I had to bring Oscar to this place. I feel like there's a time where like every vlog I did, I was coming here. Yeah, actually, Ray put me onto this spot. Yeah, this is a great place. Oh, shit. Man. This is a great place, man. So. Check it out. So, like, I'm a kind of thing, right? Yeah, it's a good mix, it's a good mix. a poncho type of thing it is like a poncho yeah it's just, yeah, it's but, yeah this is something that I've, I've been wanting make it like a little project you know that's cool man i mean in here so so much good shit right it's like it's, it's, it's a lot it's a lot it's a bit you can, you can you know I need this shit. This shit? Oh. Come on, come on. And then the Tom Sex. We got to get Capital. We got the Hype Beast Tommy collab. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is, this is the filthy, right?
congrats. What up? Thank you. Thank you. Thank Maybe you. tomorrow pop up with extra butter. Nice. Dang. Oh, and it has like pony hair and shit. Come on. Nice. Okay. Dude, I have to pick up something, man. Thank you. Definitely. Yeah, these shorts are valid. We got our new uh, flare skirt shorts. Was this the one you were wearing at the at the at the pop-up? Yes, yeah. Is this available for sale? Alright, so I'm gonna yeah. take one like this. And then you got the hat station going on. Yeah, we have a little DIY station. Uh, two different designs, a bunch of colors. We're trying to show the world that if I can do it, you know. Right, right. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Then we got the D really speaking of DIY. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Nice, okay. Yeah. Dude, this is amazing, bro. Like and obviously the signature is, yeah. you know that. OG, the OG. Dude, like I literally see everybody. Like once I see the pin, I'm like, yeah. You know, I know. I, I have to keep doing it. Repetitive makes it, you know. Dude, they want like wildfire, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I see those everywhere. That's crazy. Well, congrats, bro. This is amazing. Yeah. Shout out to YouTube. YouTube is gonna see this. Crazy. Yeah, bro. Get on YouTube. Yeah. Get on YouTube. Stop playing. I've been telling this guy. So, when you guys see this video, just go bug this guy. Tell him to start a YouTube channel because I can't convince him enough. Like, all right, bro. So, we here. Maybe tomorrow. Extra butter. All right, gang. So, today we are doing basically pop up rounds to pop ups. All the homies are in New York this weekend, so it's pretty exciting. It's New York Fashion Week bunch of pop-ups around the city uh, so it's cool to kind of just visit all my friends and you know just show my support by just being there and I'll essentially just bring you guys around my rounds hi how's it going bro I'm good thank you thank you do you mind being in a video if you don't mind just want to film some Vintage. Okay, so this is curated vintage. Yeah, and this one as well. This is okay, and then this is your guys' so, so, main yep, line. Yep. Dude, it's crazy. I was like, I was talking with a friend about it, uh -huh. and I was like, the fact that you guys were able to like, because there's so much vintage you can sell. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yep. has a vintage shop right now. Yep. So the fact that you guys are able to kind of branch out and actually create your own garments, that shit is crazy. Those nice. like buyers yeah, across yeah. US, you know, we're Cause we're a small team. Like, right, right, we right. We got CS, we got, you know, private appointments. Yeah. You know, we do visual merchandising, all type of stuff. Yeah, it's so amazing. It can be like, you know. That's amazing. Here sometimes. Yeah, nah, this is cool, man. This is really cool. This jacket is nuts, man. Yeah, dude, I love, bro. Barely, bro. Yeah. That's the star, no? Yeah, All right, right before I get out of here, can you guys bug this guy to get back on YouTube? <laughs> get Come on, the channel was immaculate. You have, bro. You, with HR. you have to hit. You got to do like the Jacob Keller, like once a year type thing. Yeah, we have yeah, the yeah, non-compete yeah. disclosure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know, just like hey, I'm alive. I got some cool shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, once a year. We got some stuff. I will tell you, when we first started though, we were doing lives all the time. And yeah, that kind of is popular all the time. We were doing like three hour yeah. lives. Kind of like, like live auctions type of thing? No, bro. Like yeah. talking to people. Yeah. Oh, just like straight talking to people. I started the brand. Just like, oh, what's your favorite t-shirt? What's the last time you hopped on IG Live? What's your favorite? I'm afraid of it. I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, you can't, you can't control yeah. what people say. So yeah. I just try to get off that. Ooh, so today. Where are we at right now? We're at Pearl Diaries pop up on 345 Broom Street. Um, yeah, so right now we came from Orlando, Florida. We drove up. Um, Wait, you drove it all this? Yeah, it was 15 hours. Oh, shit. Yeah, you should see the back stock. It's crazy. You guys have like a U haul or some shit? Yeah, so my boy, he painted all of these patterns up here. Oh, shit. What's up, bro? Nice. You painted all this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, dude. Yeah, like it. That's huge, bro. I see that. Uh, yeah. We have like over like 300 pairs of final ones. That's crazy. And even like oh. the t-shirts. Like I see the, the washer. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, these are like 70s and like 90s military boots. Nice. Nice. Yeah, bro. This is exciting, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Especially New York, like yeah. you know, this is a tough, this is a tough place. Uh, yeah. 
we try to like, you know, I think it's time to like we just at least be on a stage that we think like right. we want to like be at the best place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we have to be at the stage. Absolutely, like, yeah. You gotta, yeah. you gotta play with the big players. Exactly. That's the only you way. You know, to like do. I know you guys are from Florida, but like there's a time where you like we gotta expand. Exactly. Like Orlando is one of those places. Like you can only it. it you get to a point where it's like you're at that pace, right. and then it's like how we have to we want to run really fast. And how's the, how's the vintage community out there? It's really big, really? but I think in terms of like an appreciation, um, it's it's a little different. So okay. like most of like we sell like 99% on e-commerce. Okay. So like most of it goes from like all, honestly most of our like clientele is either in New York City or in LA. So we're like, well, we should probably yeah, why not? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. And it's the perfect time, like you know, Fashion Week as well. Exactly. That's why we. Kind Everybody's of already here for for this. Yeah. So, so like, like buy it as well. Time. Yeah. And then, trying to get a show over here and start like production stuff that we were like working on, like from like smaller collections that we're developing. Okay. Stuff like that. Yeah. We just like, so much inspiration from all the pieces that we. Oh. Let me show you the back. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's little, do it. This is on the low. Though. Yeah, we got the. Like exclusive, exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Upload this after the weekend. So oh yeah, let me no, upload no, this. Yeah. no, I'm just kidding. I got you, bro. I got you. So whenever like all this stuff comes, yeah, so no, the store will never look. It'll always look the same. Got you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you basically you hold all of this. All this shit. Yikes. The amount of 501s and leather jackets and tees. And all right. So good afternoon. Hi. Okay. So could you explain to the audience where are we? So this is our new open showroom in New York City. Okay. We're a brand called East Head. Okay, I was gonna ask you how you say it. A lot of people don't know. I, yeah. I was gonna I said ice, but I was like, you know what? Let me ask you before I even say anything. It's pronounced East Head. Okay. It means uh, second generation. Okay. In Korean, so the brand ethos is pretty much we draw a lot of inspiration from our identity as Korean Americans. And we're second generation Korean Americans. Yes. So it's kind of a mix of like East and West, mixed with old and new. Pretty yes. Much. So you're taking everything you grew up with and then the Korean heritage and kind of like blending it yeah, into like... Yeah, and we're reinterpreting everything through our lens. I see, I see. So that applies to the clothing, all the furniture. We work with like different artisans in Korea. Uh, we ship it all over here. Okay, so all, even the furniture, tables, everything is, is from Korea? From Korea and it's inspired from traditional Korean architecture. Amazing. And furniture design. It's beautiful. I love this little table set up. Yeah, but just the materials have changed. Right. right. So even this table, there's no nuts, bolts, or screws. Okay. It's built by stacking. Nice. And this It's not even painted, it's charred. It's incredible. Yeah, so ah. yeah, this is inspired from like a Korean temple. This is cool. This and is really cool. Yeah, the mirrors too. This is all um, volcanic rock okay. from an island in Korea called Jeju. Island. Wow. Okay, yes, yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this rock here, we have a oh, yeah, yeah. volcanic <laughs> rock. <laughs> oh. Okay, interesting. This is a beautiful showroom. So is everything on the rack, this is the fall winter lineup? or <laughs> So this, uh, it's a mix of this fall winter yes and a mix of spring summer next for year. next year right um, most of the spring summer stuff is in that side okay but half of it is in production right now in Korea. okay okay so a lot of our tees hoodies yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and some of like the more complicated designs right they're not here right now <laughs> this is just to kind of show like the buyers if anybody visits like what is in store for yeah. okay we just moved here a few months ago so we're just trying to connect with the like most people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. amazing, yeah. No, this is impressive. This is really, really nice. Um, are these like available for purchase? Uh, most of them, and all of them will be available first week of October. Okay. So in about two weeks. Okay. We separate it into like multiple drops. Yes. Oh my goodness. So this is like a traditional Korean stitching technique. It's beautiful. Called Nubi. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Same for my pants. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the set, the set would be so crazy. so structured. Yeah. So during the spring, summer, it doesn't stick to your skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really cool. Like, we wear this fair bit. Yeah. And it gets hot all the time. And it has like a nice finish to it. So it's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. And then we have a, a wider stitching on that side. I'll show you okay. in a bit. Amazing. Um, and we've been a brand partner for Gore-Tex for three years now. Crazy. This is just two of the SKUs, yes. but all this venting is beautiful. We do a lot of venting. Yes, yes. That's cool. This is their Infinium fabric. You know, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. okay, so everything is, I feel like everything is almost like a uniform type of aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Trying to create a, kind of like a uniform for the brand. Would you say what you're wearing now is the uniform for the brand? I mixed and matched it. Okay. But we're so used to uh, designing for runway right? before. Okay. So we always design everything in looks. Yeah. But I think we're kind of uh, straying away from You have to stay but scale back. Scale back a right. little bit. And focuses on the pieces now. Right. So we can mix and match this Yeah. Oh, man. We put this out every season. This is beautiful. So, okay, question before we get into this. Yeah. Um, so, who is the owners? Like, are you our yeah, owner? So, my brother TK, we, okay. we co-founded it. Nice. Uh, but we kind of have separate roles in the business now. Okay. So, like, I do the design, I have my design team for it. He handles more of like the sales market. Okay, so he's more like logistical work yeah, versus exactly. the brains. Yeah, All this work. crazy design. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, nice. Is there um, a certain inspo for each collection or is Yeah, so we used to do that. We used to do like specific concepts every season. But yeah. then I think now what we're trying to do is like, so the brand's called Issei, right? Yes. And like this space is called House of Issei, which is like one of the like modern Korean aesthetic things. Yes. So we just kind of want to make that like the main concept okay, the, and drive that home. So right. all of this is kind of like stemming from that. Okay, that so there's thing. no like, certain aesthetic per season it's more so Not like more but for special projects like then, alpha industries okay. that's like korean military stuff okay gotcha. that's a like specific concept gotcha. for that gotcha. or by Bore, that's like yeah, yeah. how do you turn natural dye texture into like a into like a, a gradient on a fabric or something okay. so like for collaborations we'll be more specific but our in-house season stuff is just we want to have like this modernized korean aesthetic to be like the, the main thing truly speaking bro like korean designers we're coming up, coming up, man. Coming like up. I know. the stuff that comes out of the Korea, I'm just like, yeah, even, this is different, man. When I moved there like ten years ago, and what it is now, there's so many dope brands coming out of Korea. Yeah, like, and it's like every brand that I come across yeah. has a different aesthetic. Like, yeah, it's. I noticed that you guys love to use like technical fabrics. Dude, that's big in Korea. Yeah. That's a big thing because that's access. Yeah. Like our markets there, it's all like polyester nylon. Right, like, right. You know, that part of the world, we just are good at that. that right, really right. Nylons. That's why you see so much like techy kind of tech. Right, wear, like, right, kind of right, stuff. right, yeah, right. So, that's big out there. That's what I noticed. I was so like, Korea is like a lot less of like oh, cotton. Yeah. And, like, it's less of that. Yeah. It's more like a lot of that. This, yeah, right, yeah. 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 No, I noticed that. Yeah. Every brand, obviously, there's like the post fraction. Yeah. That's yeah. like the. Yeah, the, the most, it, yeah. but I feel like for me, it was like, okay, discovering post-fraction, mm -hmm. my introduction to Korean yeah, fashion. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then obviously there's like the brands that YouTubers started, like, you know, Gizmo has Commaware, mm -hmm. JC has FF Postal Service, mm -hmm. but then it goes deeper, you know what I'm saying? Deeper, it goes yeah. really, really deeper. Yeah. Um, so this scene, this is, this is, you know, and on top of that, seeing this in, in person, because mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff from Korea, like, you don't know how it fits. You don't know right. how it looks. Yeah. So seeing this like in person, this is, and then feeling the textures and everything, this is this is really neat. Yeah, like our brand definitely like we're focusing mostly on like fabrics and textures yeah. and concepts. So like, yeah, you really you need to be here and like right, see right, it, right. Like, wear it like, exactly because you know, like, some people like. You see this online, but like now you feel it, you're like, this exactly. feels nice. Yeah, yeah. Like even like this stuff, like like this newbie fabric. Oh my like, goodness, bro. You, you can't experience it. Come on, man. Like, look at that. the shorts, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh, with the invisible bro. pockets, bro. Wait. This is incredible. Come on, bro. It's like a pleat that becomes a pocket. That's my favorite piece. And I love that it's like a kind of like a longer type of pant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so wider too? It almost gives like a skirt effect. I'm wearing the, the shitty sample version of it. Oh, you got the shitty sample? No, because like we dyed it and then all the volume died. So then we remade it. Oh, that's it all like... me, bro. I, I wear all the crappy samples. <laughs> yeah. And then when people ask you like, yo, what is that? You're like, oh, no, no, it's a sample. It's a sample. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But nah, this is impressive. This I'm is... trying to cop these, bro. Come on, man. They're coming out. Where are out. they out? Like, I want the, the boot version. Right yes, yes. Okay. Well, you know, we can do a little trade, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, I, I like a couple things, you know, I can I can come and bring a bunch of stuff for the for the gang. Amazing. Okay. Alright, so this is one of the jackets. This is spring summer of next year. Guys, this is this is great. Fits beautiful. It's kinda of like a technical material. Really, really nice. And obviously tonal black. 
beautiful. 10 out of 10. Okay, guys, so we got the loot bag. Shout out to the goodies. Yes, the good goodies. And this jacket, wait, before we get out of here, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. come on. Gotta get the camera. So this, this is available, right? It's available. Yeah. Okay, guys. This is incredible. Like, I'm about to buy this, bro. <laughs> yeah, no bro. funny shit, man. I'm about to buy this. This is, you know, this is what I like. Like, this is what, fa like, when you say fashion, it makes yeah, it exciting. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because we're, we're, we're so used to seeing the same regurgitated things, the same fashion in back. New York, bro. So. That's why we need to travel. Yes. That's so when, a, you when a brand brings something out like this, you're like, okay. Cool. Come on. All right, guys. So this is the masterminds right here. Congrats. So you guys want to talk a little bit about what we have? The culmination of being tired with seriousness and fashion. I'll say this. This idea, this idea started because of quarantine. Yes. And us sitting in the house. And from that, boredom and also from just having ideas, bouncing off each other and coming to this store. We found all these jeans and we decided like, hey, like we can do this cool project. And it, yeah, it pays an homage to like a modern take on a lot of 70s styles. Woodstock was a big inspiration. For like, yeah. Yeah. Has a lot of hand embroidery. But how does it work? So you, did you guys kind of get the fabrics? All the fabrics besides the velvet, we got in Harlem. Nice. So we got this in Harlem, the jeans here. So you guys were just kind of gathering materials until we were like, hey, yeah, the, it's ready to go. The only fabric that was hard to get was the velvet, because at the time, it was right during COVID. They weren't trying to sell velvet. Right, right, reason. right. And I like the little, you guys have the little flower motif details going on. We got yeah. the little frame. Some of these, oh, some of these got animals on it. Crazy, guys. And then, yeah. Oh, there's planets. Yeah, no, this is art, man. All of these hand dyed and his apartment. Yeah, it's real trap, tra real, real traps. You feel me? <laughs> you got all this fabric. Hell yeah, you gotta put made on from the scraps. Yeah. Put on that hood, boy. Made from the scraps. Sheesh. You got a little piece hanging there. Let's go, man. Yeah, yeah, this is all the smallest pieces. Yeah, I like that you guys have little swatches of it. Just yeah. yeah. So people understand how this, yeah. this is all the yeah. excess right, that we didn't right. use. Okay. And then the writing on the back is a poem that I wrote actually during quarantine. Nice. And then I added the last part as kind of like a way to tie it all together. But so, yeah. is, so is this gonna be available online or just in store? Uh, if it's here past the store date, maybe, but I I don't think that these will be, so probably not. The okay. jeans will definitely be up. You know, it, hit my Instagram up if you want one, though. Yeah, hit them up on Instagram. <laughs> hit me up if you want one. Hit them up on Instagram if you guys need yeah. some shit. We have quality mending, though, you feel me? We have quality mending. Shout out to quality mending. Shout out to Papa. Yes, yes, we out here. You see, Amazing. you got some people with them on. Two people yeah. over there with them. Fire. Happy birthday!